Ryder, what a victory. Now that we know where Meridian is, the Archon's downfall begins. A victory feels good, and there's more to come. You have a good team here, Ryder. Yeah, seems to be working out okay. If you'd like, I can provide crew training about embracing emotions. Oh, okay, I'll think about that. Okay, let me know. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How do they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me, but I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get your point. Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... whatever. Although, I used to know some facts, like the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh, yeah. Humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. No idea. You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She is beloved. I love her. Really? So one of those professor-student things? <laughs> no, no. Uh, not that way. Moshe Sefer is 115 of your years old. The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. Hmm. We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. Well, enough about that. Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak? But the cat are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One 
horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. Have the cat always been here? No. Some, like the Moshai, are old enough to remember the time before the cat. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. Well, enough about that. Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... <laughs> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want. Yet, for my life, at my age, I hope being here will inspire me. Can you tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have one. Sit down. This will take time. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sahuna. And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins. All raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone. Taken. Or killed. By the cat. We never found his body. My dad died on her first mission here. I didn't know him as well as I could have, I guess. I think I was close to mine, yet maybe close has a different meaning for humans. Something to learn, I guess. Anything else you want to ask? Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Well, enough about that. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time? <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Aliyah. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers. Thrilled and 